So I do a lot of uh, quick shots for the salon that's next door to me. Um, and it's prom season, so there's a lot of quick shots they want. But I, today is a little gray, and I'm us I usually just shoot natural, but I decided to pull out the Fuji film um, little strobes. Um, and I use this one on remote and this one on the camera and then just did a quick shot rather than using the big strobes. Um, and it just gave a little bit of pop to the image. Uh, so I just wanted to show you really quick, you know, how easy it is. These things just go on a little stand. I still use those um, mag mods. Even, <laughs> even though the mag mod is you know, probably bigger than the <laughs> strobe itself, um, you know, but it works great. Um, I like the little things. And, you know, what's nice about these is they're easy to hold to and, and shoot. So if you are a, a strobe shooter like this, which I used to be all the time, uh, this is great for that as well. Anyway, here's just a little qu quick shoot um, and a quick look at the images from this shoot. I, I think I have a couple more um, prom girls coming in, so I have to get ready for the next ones. Anyway, have a great day. So each one of these um, sessions that I do for the salon, they always start in, in the salon themselves, you know, ha having their hair done and makeup done. And I usually do a quick video, just nothing spectacular, or I do stills and put them together as a video. Um, but they get their hair done, their makeup done, and then they come into the studio. Now remember, these people are not you know, models, they're, you know, they were ambushed while they were getting their hair done going, hey, do you mind if I take some pictures? I sometimes I do before and after, sometimes just afters. With updos, it's usually just afters. And some of them, you know, because we do this so often, some of the girls actually bring their prom dresses in and just change in the studio uh, to get some shots that way. And it's just a thank you for letting us use them for social media. Now, this first shot, we're using the one strobe, uh, the second strobe as a backlight, um, you know, against the wall, you know, just for the, to light up the wall, give it more white. Um, now, remember, these aren't perfect, but I did turn up these strobes quite a bit because uh, I really wanted to rely on the strobe more than the natural light. Um, and it, it worked out fine. A little harsh on some of them, but, you know, I, I only need one or two, so it's okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to move the light over to the side to highlight our face now. Uh, remember, like with these lights, just move them around and try different things. And, you know, the one strobe setting off the second, these is, the, obviously this is all set up on manual because they, you know, these strobes won't work in TTL on the uh, Leica. Uh, but now you'll see the, the face has a highlight on it, which I love. I think it's really, really nice. You do get some shadow in the backdrop, um, which, you know, for this kind of on-camera flash, you want them closer to the wall. Uh, but since I'm doing the hair, I don't mind with the shadow or it, it doesn't bother me. Um, now I just move it to the other side to highlight the hair more than the face, because uh, this is a hair shoot. And you have to be careful with with updos because sometimes they're a little messy. And if you throw a strobe on them, they just look messy. They don't look like, you know, a great updo. Now, because she's a not a model and she doesn't do this and was just ambushed, I have them spread their legs a little bit to get more firm of a stance on the ground. They feel more comfortable and hands in the pocket. It gives them something to do with their hands. Um, they feel more stable on the ground with their feet spread a little bit, you know, because whenever, when somebody's nervous and they're standing in front of the camera, they usually put their feet close together and they don't have a stable ground. They don't feel stable. But anyway, this is the shoot. I just wanted to share it with you and the strobes. I hope you enjoyed. I wanted to throw this section, second section. This, this is the girl I did right after the one you just saw. Um, but during the shoot, I, I, she's a mover and she loved her dress so I knew she was going to move all over so I had to go with the big strobes but during the shoot the Godox started pre-firing um, you know when I half pressed the shutter on the Leica uh, so I actually had to sh switch to the Pro Photo Leica remote uh, versus the Godox Pro Leica remote because uh, it just just like every shot it was pre-firing um, and I don't know what it is it may, maybe it has to do with a uh, software update or something like that uh, but I'm just using the Pro Photo small flash to set off the big Godox remotes. Um, you know, I set the Godox on the S2 um, triggers and, and it worked fine for optical slave. But anyway, I just wanted to share um, and, and point out this issue with the Godox remotes. Hopefully they can do a software update to fix this. Again, thanks for watching.